Tom McMillan, senior pastor at John Knox Presbyterian Church. There is a saying at a school in Uganda that reads, what you do for us without us is not for us. There are times that I'm looking at scripture and I see Nehemiah in the Old Testament. We talked about that on Sunday. And he becomes aware of the uh, pain, the devastation in Jerusalem. And he creates space to discern his part and God begins to guide him for how he is to go and gather resources, but then arrive at the city. And instead of just jumping in and doing the repair project on his own or a few people that come in, he travels the city with the people and they begin to assess together what, what's happening here. Um, and what's our plan together in rebuilding? It's not just a quick fix, but it's also, or a repair of walls. It's a rebuilding of the character of the people, a, a fashioning of their identity that has been destroyed in the war. And now they're not only rebuilding the structure, but also their sense of hope and identity and direction. And so the people near the sections of walls are given responsibility for those walls. And the names of the people, and there are a variety of people, are named in the book of Nehemiah for those who were a part of the work in the rebuilding. And in that rebuilding effort, there's also attempts to sabotage. There are those who can't believe that the city could be rebuilt. And there's something in them that almost doesn't want to see that city succeed. And so they try to dismantle the work and create doubt within the people. But they are determined because they own this work and they believe in what they can become together. And so they have spade for the rebuilding and the mortar, but also a spear to protect. <laughs> they're, they're, they're doing both, protecting this cause and rebuilding these walls and watching how God is somehow um, creating hope amongst the people and the work that is theirs to do. So yeah, we're, we're in that mix of being discerning together what is ours to do and to share, involving people, engaging people in the challenges in our communities and our homes, and realizing we're doing this together. And there will be uh, attempts to sabotage and dismantle. But what we find throughout Nehemiah and even our own lives is that there is an element of worship in the mix in our work, in our labor, in our hope. We pray, we worship, we gather together, and we celebrate. We're not in this alone. So remember, you're not alone. God cares for you, and so do we.